Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. Welcome. If you're new here, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I'm so excited you're here because today we're going to do a almost full face of Shantikai. If you haven't subscribed yet already, I invite you to do so. I'd love to have you here. We talk about luxury beauty and new, what's new in makeup and all the things related to that. So I really would love for you to join us and we're going to get into seeing how I created this look. Okay, y'all, I put up my hair. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> I'm going to go in first with my Shantikai Radiance Elixir. Guys, this I got during the Sylvie sale and I was so excited. It was one of those products that I really had been eyeing for a while since its release. And I was like, it's 30% off. I have to try. And what kind of sold me on this was that it was full of all these amazing peptides as well as gives you kind of a plumping and brightening effect, which I really like. But what I like about it most is that and after using it it gives you kind of a pretty glow but it's not like whoa you know because <laughs> I don't really I don't know I don't want to look whoa <laughs> I really love it it's just this really pretty dewy healthy look and I'm liking it so far now, on top of that I'm going to go in with the Shantikai just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Glow and it does have SPF 15 in it. Now what I like to do, here's the shade just to show you what it looks like. Now I like to take this and just rub and make it easy. <laughs> now I did have a small sample in my order from the Sylvie cell with the Shantikai sunscreen. You guys, that's stuff that stuff that sunscreen is wow i ordered it during the nordstrom sale i think it's still i think it's still available i there was two in one bottle i mean it's a pricey sunscreen one bottle i think is like 95 dollars or something but you could get two for maybe like 135 I think. I'll link it below if it is still available because I thought it was, you know, a pretty good deal if you're going to buy one that's 90 I mean, it's still pricey. Don't get me wrong. It's still pricey. <laughs> but that is the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. Now, what I like about this, okay, so you can still see the glow coming through a little bit. It's moisturizing. I like something that's going to be a little bit moisturizing for me because I do have dry skin and for me, this is just a great, great combo. It does not cover everything. This is layer one, right? Is it layer one or layer two? I don't remember, but <laughs> layer one and a half. Let's just go there. <laughs> so I was just, I can add a little bit more like on my cheeks. I have a little pigmentation. I liked the sun when I was younger, guys. I, I will not lie. <laughs> it just gives enough right? To even out the skin tone. Doesn't look like I have a ton of foundation on. It covers a bit. I would say this is probably like a light to medium coverage depending on how much you want to build up. But yeah, it, I really, really like this and it's easy. That's what I really like about this. It's easy. I love the packaging. It's in this little squeezy tube. Not a ton, like it doesn't like fly out everywhere or anything like that. It's a good packaged squeezy tube. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. Sometimes those squeezy tubes are hard, hard to manage. I thought we'd do our eyes next. I like to let my foundation just kind of set for a little bit and really blend in with the skin. I don't know. That's just kind of how I like to do it sometimes. But I thought we'd go in with eyes. And what I'm going to use this time is this Shantikai Mermaid Eye Color. And this is in the shade Seashell. And it's this gorgeous champagne -y gold color. This really looks like sand and it's so, so beautiful. And I'm just going to go over my eyes and it sweeps right on. It doesn't skip or anything like that. It's not gritty or it doesn't have a ton of like glitter. It's a shimmer for sure. It's very mature and it looks gorgeous on. And I really think this would look amazing on mature eyelids as well because it is so smooth and it doesn't sink into I have a few little a few little places that are a little drier on my eyelids and a few little places that I have some lines and you know it doesn't skip those and it doesn't look like super you know how sometimes it can look super dry or patchy on the lid this is not that way at all and I just really appreciate that <laughs> Those kind of 
shades are hard to work with, you know, when you can't blend it in and things like that. So that is that shade in Seashell. This is a great everyday shade. And that's really, honestly, that's what I usually do is just put on a crease color and an eye color and an eyeliner and go kind of thing. Now I'm not using a crease color today, but I think this is just beautiful by itself. And I'm going to go in with the Chantecaille Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner. This is supposed to be long wearing and just glide right on like silk. And to be frank, that's what it does. And this is in the shade Black Forest. Now, this shade I saw online during the Sylvie sale, and I was like, ooh, I wonder what that looks like on. Guys, I can't wait to show you what it looks like on because it's very surprising. I didn't know. You know, it's a little out there. It's a little different. We're going to, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm going in the waterline here and just going to deepen this. And then I'm going right here in this bottom waterline because I want to definitely get that on the bottom. And now I'm going to just take it real lightly on the top. Not a thick line, but something very easy. Can you see it? It's like a dark, dark, dark green. It's like a forest green. It's black forest. That's what it's called. It's really beautiful. And it's so smooth. It doesn't catch on my eye at all. And I really like that. All right, y'all. So that is the eyeliner in Black Forest. The only things I do not have in Chantecaille, an eyebrow pencil and a mascara. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my brows and my mascara real fast. I'm using my Gucci brow pencil and my Chanel Le Volume Revolution de Chanel. And I'll be right back and you'll see me right no. Okay, so the eyes are done. I did my brows. I just love this look. I just think it makes my eyes kind of pop with the eyeliner. I think it's so pretty. Next, we're going to go in with the Chantecaille Goa Bronzer. I have, a, I have a review on this comparing it to the Gucci one as well, but this is just such a gorgeous bronzer. It's just beautiful. It really is. Now, the thing about this bronzer is that it is pretty pigmented, so you kind of got to go in lightly. You can tell it's on my brush a good bit, so I'm just going to pat it off the back and then go in and swirl with the big brush so it just blends right in now this bronzer gives kind of a just kissed by the sun look it's definitely kind of got a little bit more of a red undertone than a golden undertone and it's almost like just a bit on the cooler side than you know say just your standard super warm bronzer one i mean it still has a little bit of it still has warmth of course but in comparison that's so gorgeous i always forget to do this you guys but it's okay this <laughs> i'm gonna go in with my chantecaille concealer this is like camouflage concealer it's the anti-fatigue pen now the reason why this caught my eye no pun intended <laughs> so much is because it has skincare benefits in it and it just really i was i was sitting there thinking if i'm going to put concealer on my eye then i want it to be hydrating i don't want it to look cakey i want it to brighten and if it throws some skincare in there too i mean that's a win-win what do y'all think <laughs> So I've been trying this out. It is very nice and brightening. It's light in coverage. It's not something super heavy. And what I like about it is it doesn't look cakey at all. Now you're not gonna have this super like masked <laughs> coverage or whatnot, but it just gets enough to brighten and enhance kind of the under eye area. And I feel like that's that's just enough right? I got three during the sale because four would actually match my shade that I have in the Just Skin tint, but I wanted something a little brighter under the eye, and I wasn't necessarily going to use it to conceal or anything like that, like on the face. I usually use concealers to brighten under the eyes. Now, you know, if I wanted something to help conceal, I would just add a little bit more of the skin tint or whatnot. Honestly, that's kind of what I usually do. But if just to let you know, if you wanted to conceal with this particular pen, then I would have gone up a shade in four. 
Does that make sense? So for cheeks, I'm using the Radiant Chic Cheek and Highlighting Duo in Coral. This is so beautiful. I love this. It's so pretty and it's just amazing. Shandikai has so many amazing philanthropies as well and they give back. This particular one is the Manatee one and they give back to the manatees for purchases made for this particular product. So that's really just so cool. Personally, we live near the beach. So for us, that's kind of, you know, a big deal, kind of sea life and oceans and things like that. But I'm just putting this coral cheek shade on. These shades are so buttery, you guys. They are buttery and a little bit on the sheeny side. So this, I'll show you what that swatch looks like but not to the point where it's gonna accentuate the texture, accentuate the pores. It's not like that at all. These powders are soft, so soft. So this is a highlighting duo. You can see the highlighter right here, or the, I got stuff all over my hands. Actual cheek shade and then the highlighter beside it. I'm taking just a brush and going in and putting that right here. So this you can build up or just make it real subtle and light but I'm just kind of giving it just a little bit of highlight and you can see that. Oh, so pretty, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm just going in here and I also like to just, so, so far, so good. <laughs> so I put a little bit on my cheek, so I'm just gonna buff it in with the brush that I had from the bronzer. Okay, buff it all together. Last but not least, we're gonna go in with the lips. So Shantikai makes a natural lip liner. This is their, I mean, it's in the shade natural. It's their lip liner, lip definer pencil. And this almost reminds me of kind of like the Pillow Talk shade from Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe just, I wonder what it looks like beside it, hold on. Okay, so get this, look at this. So this is the Shantikai. This is Pillow Talk and this is Pillow Talk 2 from Ch Charlotte Tilbury. So those are the comparisons right there. I personally, the Pillow Talks are a little bit more on the berry side. This has more of a brown in it. I like brown. I mean, y'all know I like browns. I like the brown undertone just for me personally, but I'm just gonna line my lips. So that is a lip liner. It's, a, it's so pretty, you guys. It's just a great, great shade. The last product, well, second to last product. I might put on a lip gloss. This lip chic, this lip chic in a more. Y'all, yeah. look at this shade. It's so good. I just love that lip color. I think it's so pretty and it's a good shade for just every day and it's a hydrating lip color. It's not tacky, it's not sticky. It's like silk on your lips. It's so pretty. I was thinking about putting a lip gloss on but I don't know if I need to. What do you think? Should I put a lip gloss on? I do want to show you though. Let me show you. So this is the new lip gloss that I got in the shade Love. Now I don't wear a lot of pink, a lot of pink on my lips or anything. I'm like I said, I'm very browny kind of neutral type girl. But y'all, look at this. It just gives it such a beautiful shine. You could wear it alone. You can wear it over the lipstick like I just put on. It's so soft so soft i mean this feels like silk too I, it's just incredible i really love i love so many of shantikai's products you guys it's just one of those brands i tend to resonate with a lot and tend to find that i just really love their products i love their philanthropies there's so many things about it that i i just enjoy and love so thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this i love the look i just feel fresh and put together and me but better does that make sense <laughs> that's really all i want in a lot of ways so i really appreciate you guys watching i really hope that you enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe below i'd love 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 to have you here and it helps me out as a content creator i just appreciate you all let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these products if you're interested in any of these i'd love to or if you've tried some that i need to try you, you let me know i'll link right here my video from the shantikai sylvie sale these were my recommendations and my wish list because there's just so many good things from shantikai you 
guys. <laughs> Thank you guys again. I'll look forward to seeing you here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye y'all.